Hello, my name is Joe Beer, and I'm with Beer and Associates. And today we're going to talk about our VBI 15 voltage indicator. Before we begin using the VBI 15, we want to verify that the D unit is working properly. We first want to test the unit on what we consider a known voltage. As seen here, Beerer manufactures a 3 kV power supply, part number PS3. With the power supply on and the VBI 15 on, we want to make contact with the high voltage potential. As the unit comes in contact with the high voltage potential, the unit should go silent, such as demonstrated here. Now that we've tested the VBI-15, we'll begin our first demonstration in an underground application. First, we want to install the proper LiveLine tool adapter. Since we are going to use a shotgun stick in our demonstration, I want to install a grip-all adapter, part number AGA. Since our underground potential is only 13,800 volts, we will also want to install our small interface bushing adapter, part number ABS. Now that both accessories have been installed, we can do our first underground demonstration. We are going to begin with the cabinet already energized and the VBI-15 inserted into the bushing. In this type of application, the VBI-15 would be left indefinitely as a sentinel type device while work is performed somewhere nearby. If for whatever reason power is lost on the phase the VBI-15 is connected to, it will alarm so immediate action is taken to restore power. I can demonstrate an example by cycling power on this cabinet. You'll notice once power is restored to the cabinet, the unit goes back silent, as it should. Utilizing the VBI-15 within a utility can greatly reduce a utility SADI or KD index. SADI stands for System Average Interruption Duration Index, and KD stands for Customer Average Interruption Duration Index. Both of these indices are measured in minutes or hours and are used to determine the efficiency of a utility. Our next demonstration will be an overhead application. Again, since we're using a shotgun stick, I want to install the proper LiveLine tool fitting, which is our grip all adapter, part number AGA, and a hook probe adapter, part number AHP. With the overhead line already energized, I will remove the VBI-15 to demonstrate the alarm with loss of potential. Again, as with the underground demonstration, once power is restored, the VBI-15 goes silent. Also, as with the underground demonstration, the VBI-15 can be left indefinitely on the line until any construction, tree trimming, etc. is completed. Remember to test the VBI after you use it as well. Bureau does manufacture adapters for more secure overhead or bus connections and the part numbers for these will be based on your particular work requirements. Only two examples are demonstrated in this video, so if your requirements are different, please let us know so we can accommodate your particular needs. We hope that this video was a success in providing enough additional information necessary to safely operate the VBI-15. If you do have additional questions or any concerns before using the VBI-15, please do not hesitate to let us know by contacting our customer service department by calling 803-786-4839 or emailing us at customer underscore service at beerermeters.com. Thank you for your time. Stay safe and have a great day.